sure you can say Hello Facebook. Man. Well, it's me, it's me, it's me again. And I decided to just drop by and give a shout out. And for some reason or another, my son decided to turn the light out, and he know I need light because I just need light. You know what I'm talking about? Visuals. I got. I can't be in the darkness because I need light. That's the kind of like a private joke. By the way, how is your day going? I hope that your day is going fine. It's been kind of like a real. Um, Kind of like a crazy day for me, but you know what? The Bible says in all things give thanks, but this is the will of God concerning you. I was trying to think, what can I do or say today? And I said, well, I I say so much, but I never get tired of talking to you guys because I realize that maybe sometime God has me uh, on the computer because somebody needs a word. Well, I think if... I would use a topic today, it would be cheer up, cheer up, and I can hear somebody say, well, what have I got to cheer up about? Nothing's going my way. What have I got to cheer up about? You have a lot to cheer up about if you just think about it. If you get all that negative stuff out of your ears and all those negative people away from you, you could probably hear some pretty negative things that's going on in your life. I get up every morning and, and I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful because I got up this morning. Nobody had to get me up. I got up on my own. Now, I'm not going to say it was easy. It wasn't easy because I'm not that spring chicken anymore. But I will say this. I got up. I was able to do, take care of myself and do things that I'd like to do. And I also decided to make this a day just to rest and just chill a little bit and don't do anything. Because sometimes I think we let ourselves get so busy. And when we don't allow ourselves to chill and just take it easy, we sit around and oftentimes we have nothing to think about but the problems that we're going through. So I want to tell you today, cheer up. Cheer. It's going to get better. Sometimes it gets worse before it gets better, but it's going to get better. And you've got to believe that it's going to get better. I can't believe that for you. You've got to believe that it's going to get better. Sometimes you have to learn how to make your own self laugh. You can't just put on a, a, a comedy video or something or a CD and try to find something that will make you laugh. You have some time to make your own self laugh. And oftentimes, I can be feeling so down and my, and my burden can be so heavy. But I find myself singing. And as I begin to sing, all of a sudden, I say, wait a minute. What am I singing about with all this burden on my shoulder, with all these things that I'm going through right now? I should be crying and not laughing or singing. But the joy of the Lord is my strength. And he said that he would teach us how to find peace if we keep our minds stayed on him. Now, you desire to keep your mind stayed on the person that broke your heart. You desire to keep your mind on how hard times are for you and things are not going your way. And you desire to just you to say, oh, I just, I'm just having a bad day and, and, and nothing's going my way. You desire to think, oh, my God, you're having a pity party again? Too many pity parties are not good for anyone. You are ODing on pity parties. Yeah, you're overdosing on a pity party. Too many pity parties. It's time for you to laugh now. Now, maybe all from now you might be crying, but take time to find something good to think about. Cheer up. You know, it could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. Cheer up. Aren't you tired of crying all the time? Aren't you tired of feeling sorry for yourself? Aren't you just tired of just thinking that it's never going to get any better? A lot of times you can't cheer up because you're around too many people that are downers. And they don't even, even know how to make their own self happy. So how are they going to make you happy? 
No way they can't make you happy. They're not even happy. They don't even know how to spell happy. Happy to them is like, woe is me. You know, like, nobody cares. you got to learn how to make your own self smile. you got to learn how to make your own self happy. It is a lesson to learn. Because I don't always find it easy to cheer up. Sometimes I say to myself, I'm tired of being tired. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. And then finally I catch myself and I say, wait a minute. It's not going to go away just because I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. It's not going to go away. The problem is going to still be there. But can I get a way or find a way to just cheer up? Because it's medicine for you to cheer up. To just, just put that chin and just kind of lift it up little by little. And a little bit more, and this thing you know, your chin's up. And that's what you gotta do. You gotta get that chin up. I'm I'm grateful to God for everything that He does to me. He's teaching me how to sing songs when I'm sad that I've never even sung before. Write songs. I could be sitting down feeling really bad, and instead of me singing a song like "Nobody Cares," "Nobody Knows the Trouble I See." Nobody knows like Jesus. No, 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 no. I think I'll sing, uh, Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me thy salvation so full and free. Then, I start feeling something on the inside moving. And I feel that and hear that still small voice said, Something's on the inside telling me to go ahead. Something's on the inside telling me to go ahead. Something's on the inside telling me to go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So guess what? I, I I just start just keep singing these happy songs and and next thing you know, I forgot all about what I was really having a bad day about. I forgot about what I was going through. Now it didn't go away. The problem didn't go away. As a matter of fact, sometimes the problem got worse. But I had a moment where I was cheering up and I wasn't thinking about my problems and I wasn't letting them get me down because I did this. My chin. If you ever heard someone say chin's up, I took my chin and I lifted it up. And all of a something, all of a sudden, I felt the warmth, the energy of happiness and of peace. And I told myself, girl, you tripping. You need to cheer up because I mean, it could be a lot worse. There's always somebody that's going through something a lot worse than you are. So you need to just make up your mind that you gonna enjoy this day. And I sometimes I just put my hands together and just start clapping, just making up a song like I'm so happy. Oh what a beautiful day. Sun is shining in my life today. I've had someone come up to me and say, Adeline, how could you sing a song when everything is going wrong? And then I think of this other song I sang sometimes. But I got confidence. My Lord is going to see me through. No matter what the case may be. My God is going to fix it for me. I got confidence. Oh, confidence is so important. No matter what the case may be. I, I think I can get through this. I, I think I can get through this. It's almost midnight. And somebody told me that God said that weeping only endures for a night and that joy will come in the morning so it's almost morning if I could just make it through the night so until that time I just learned how to cheer myself up and do this chins up Adeline chins up chins up hold your head up girl you can do this and guess what it's morning all of a sudden and I find myself having another wonderful day and still have the same old problems, same old headache, 
Same old disappointment, same old pain. But I think I'd rather choose to cheer up and let the problems stay behind me instead of in front of me because this too shall pass. Okay, so would you just cheer up? At least try to cheer up. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Cheers up. God bless you. And have a good God bless you day.